Hi, dear Scorpio. Put in your four wands and take a beautiful deep breath in. Ready? Challenging your human. Relaxing your human. Deep breath in. Exhale completely out. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to channel Scorpio's spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Scorpio, I feel like, you, you know, you transformed last month. Big time. And I pray that you allowed it to happen because you, you definitely deserve to shed that old skin. And... I feel like you come in with this new sense of value, purpose, what you deserve, what you don't deserve. I feel like some things just got on your nerves. And I feel like past behavior, decisions, choices that got you where you were, the way you, where you are now, just got on your nerves. And I feel like spirit gave you the opportunity to peel that off. So I feel like this is the time. Start that new beginning. Take out, you know, just really go for that job. Start that business. Go for the one that values you, appreciates you, because that's where it's at for you. It's in your value, your self-worth, how you're appreciated. You know, the, the work that you do based on is the money that you, you're receiving, not what they want you to receive, you know? The price points that you establish are based on the value that you provide in your business. You know, I feel very strongly that, you know, when you put yourself in that lane of, I'm, you know, I'm going to receive because I deserve it. Spirit is going to really bless you with a deep, abundant harvest. And at the end of the month, you are able to change your philosophy. You are able to decide, do I want to start a program? Do I want to go back to school? Do I want to um, look on YouTube for some new information? But you get to live life on your terms and you get to broaden your connections. Network marketing definitely is for you. This month, if you are not in a business that is allowing you to connect with other people, definitely, definitely, I believe you need to be in that. Just absolutely, for sure. And um, I can help you with that, so definitely reach out to me with the information, by contacting me with the information down below. Because Scorpio, when you get, when it gets tough, Spirit's going to be telling you, come on back. Come on back to me and let me comfort you. Let me show you who has your back. You're not alone. You've got hope. You've got the candlestick of hope. And I feel like, you know, with your value coming up last month and this month, I, I just feel like you've been so hurt. Don't don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. Let go of the fear. Let go of that emotional baggage. Don't let the past hold you back, Scorpio. Please don't let the past hold you back. You you've got support. I feel like many of you have had um, deaths in your family, and I just feel like there's more transformation. To happen, I feel like it was way more, it was deeper than just you shedding your own skin. Just remember that the difference between, you know, the way that we're able to feed faith is understanding that we have help on the other side in the spirit realm. So when it gets really tough, our ancestors are right there helping us because you're their legacy this has come up so often 
Remember, you deserve this love. At the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, you deserve it. So stay connected with Source when you feel like you're not getting it. When you're not getting that, that love, that appreciation, that value, that self-respect, that respect from others. You know, when the job has the nerve to put you on probation when they don't have due cause. You know, it's once it's someone's word against yours. Just bring love back into it by knowing that you deserve more and let that be the basis of your human taking the action to go get more. Through all the sadness, the loneliness, honey, you're never alone. They're right there by you in your home, in your heart in your soul, just comforting you. It certainly is a struggle for you right now. And it definitely doesn't need to be. I just feel like you have a lot of pain self-inflicted. Okay? Look at your energy here. Let that go. You don't deserve that. You deserve to release this and enjoy the blessed energy you've got at your disposal. I feel like you've got to know that you can move anywhere in this world. And I feel like you've got to know that you can release the fears from that you're holding on to in the closet. I feel like, oh yeah, you definitely had a death happen. And they are safe, and so are you. So are your kids and your family to make this decision, take this next step forward. You're going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Focus on what you want, dear Scorpio. Focus on what spirit has been sending you in your dreams. Focus on the deja vu, focus on the epiphanies, the visions, the synchronistic messages that you've been seeing because some of you got to let go of some family, some of you got to let go of some friends, but I really feel it's the narrative. Watch how you talk to yourself because you absolutely deserve that love that you really want. And to allow someone else in, you know, I, I feel like, you know, you go through a lot of, they just don't understand me. And I think that, you know, all the time you don't understand you, which is understandable. And so releasing that baggage of why you do the, the things you do. How you've done the things you've done and giving your heart to the wrong person and them just, you know, squeezing it, just squeezing, just it's painful. Come back into loving yourself and get away from the toxic people in your career. This is absolutely get away from that low paying job because you're too skilled, you're too gifted. You're too talented to be accepting what another company is going to give you and not working on creating a beautiful, healthy stream of income. You're going to be okay. Your family's going to be okay. Your alimony, the child support is going to be okay. The bills are going to get paid. And you've got to know, keep your head lifted high up there because that candlestick of hope is still there whether you got to burn the midnight oil Meaning you're going to be working your, your business, your side hustle when you're not working your full-time job. Or you're going to be working your side hustle like you work in a full-time job because you don't have a full-time job right now. But you can do this. You can definitely harvest some abundant, fruitful money. Whether it's overtime 
I feel like though, Scorpio, it feels so strongly that it's you you're sitting on a business opportunity, something that you do that you love. It's a hobby for you, but you do it so well and I feel like the the question is if I can do it this well, no one's gonna pay me for it. But honey, everybody's gonna pay you for it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you absolutely should go into it. Thank you so much. And I feel like in the in the wow. Um in the work that you've been doing. I feel like many of you are just tired of it. Like you're like, what do I want? What do I really want? And with the love in your love life, I feel like love is just flat out missing and you're feeling very alone, isolated. And it's just really time to release the fact that you might feel like nobody understands you. Nobody's going to understand you. That you have to settle to be with this type of person. You certainly don't. And you definitely can be with the one that you really want to be with. Whether that comes in a different human body than the one that you are used to. Or the one that you thought it was going to come in. But it's coming. That soulmate connection is coming. So whether you're with your soulmate or not, keep praying on it. Focus on what you desire. What is it that you want? Who is it that you want? You certainly can absolutely let go of the one that's been hurting you, lying to you, treating you like this fragile, fragile egg and just don't care. These are hurtful lies. These are definite, on purpose, lying to someone. So you watch it. If you're doing this, watch out because this karma is coming back. So be careful about that. But certainly be very aware of the energy. Don't be surprised by it. Definitely look at our November and December general uh, spiritual guidance for everybody. Because that, this, yours definitely plays into it so much. You're going to really appreciate what we put out there. Let go of the self-inflicted abuse, the volatile energy by the, the narrative that you're, you're, you're telling yourself is negative. That you don't deserve this, you don't deserve that, that you, 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 you. And the other person, don't blame anybody. This is time for you to really, really... Go for it. There's a huge shift in the air and you got to go for it. Spirit knows what you want. And so, yes, that candlestick of hope, honey, they're there. They are there in your frequency. You're calling in the one that's going to last. So keep manifesting that reunion because it's it's divine timing now now it is divinely time for you to be happy like that all right and no this is spiritual guidance so no you don't control it as psychic as you are spirit is controlling the energy and you are in control of receiving it accepting it so get rid of that negative narrative Get rid of the negative patterns. Get rid of the toxic ways in your relationship life. However way this is playing out, because I know this is playing out on all aspects. <laughs> all of them. But get this person out your business. Get them out your life. Stop seeing this person. Stop being this person. Um, you don't need that. Nobody needs that one, okay? Divinely time for you to connect with the love of your life. Get past the lies. Stop telling the lies to yourself, to others. It's negative energy. It's not doing you any good. Reconnect with the divine source. Know that that reunion is happening. It's going to happen no matter what. Bring love into the mix. Real love because you don't want that superficial stuff. Stay connected to source. 
whenever you feel alone and whenever you feel not alone. It's very important to remember that you've got that candlestick of hope. Once you have that hope, know that you're going to be feeding faith and starving fear. And that's super, super big. Okay? Can't stress this enough right here. Change your narrative. Affirm what it is you want, where it is you're going, who it is you want, who's coming with you in your future, who's coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just see the lovers. I see um, a bridge to that happiness, but I see you falling in love with what you do for a living. And... That shake-up, that shift that has to happen, certainly. Get these two that fell out. Oh, there's three. You got the tower. There is a shake-up. You got the moon. Check your feelings. And you got high priestess. I don't know if this came out upright or reverse, but listen to your intuition and be guided by the divine. Um, this is attractive energy also. This is uh, understand that you do deserve someone that gets you, someone that understands you, someone that you connect with on a spiritual level, not just a physical level, and they're going to stick, stick around. You deserve that. Um, this is a huge new beginning, humongous, that's going to last well into May 2021 of this new beginning and making a step, you know, taking a step forward in your love life, in your career, but it's all wrapped up in your value. It's, it's you know, what are you, how, what are you doing to earn the money you make and what are you doing to earn the money you desire? There's a big difference, right? So Spirit's telling you, you know, make the changes. You know, peel the rest of that skin off of you that Spirit really started peeling away for you last month by stepping out on faith and stop saying you're going to do it. And just doing it. There's a lot of inner, okay, blaming yourself. Um, I feel like you just are, a lot of you are not letting, you're not planning your goal. I feel like you've got to know your plan. I feel like you've got to get in, you've got to start networking with people that are positive and that are going somewhere, and they're in alignment with where you're going, okay? There's a real strong energy here this month to, com to connect, to get with people that don't look like you, they are in different parts of the world, connect with them on social media, you know, be in their inbox, see what they're about, and there's the lover's card. And honey, I'm telling you, I feel like you you are so connected with your life partner, with your the one that's going to stay. Oh my gosh. And communicate that. Really let them know that, hey, this is a beautiful message. I feel like they're going to be sending you those messages too. Um, and I feel like, you know, when you, you come in and it's like, you know what, I'm done. I'm changing. And I feel like it's not all talk. I feel like you really are taking the steps to do that. It's a struggle buzz to begin with for some of you and understandably so with the tower and all this emotional energy it's like a tidal wave but it's good stuff because it's a given it's a it's a back and forth it's there's a, a relationship being formed or a rekindlement of the relationship and I feel like it's super emotional get a hold of your emotions you know you got options but I feel like you made your option you made your choice for sure um, and you're stepping out of that turmoil 
You are. And that's what you're hoping for. And you are. Um, you're defensive, which is, yeah, I mean, it's understandable, but you own it. You own it. You're just like, you know what? I say this is the way it's going to be, and that's the way it's going to be. Boom. And you manifest it. Okay, so this is beautiful, 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 Scorpio. So blessed, all right? I, the, the, the fact that you've got options, let that, you know, help you out when you're feeling that third party and that deceptive kind of energy and feeling like you've got to be on the defensive. You don't. You don't. There's one here that is meant to be there for the lifetime, and they're going to stay. They want to stay. Uh, but you've got to you got to make some uh, adjustments there. You know, they do too, for sure. But, you know, you've got to make some adjustments. And I feel like going forward, you're going to... I think you're going to bounce. I feel like going forward, the fear is so high that you've got to you've got to have second, third, fourth, fifth, 10 chances, opportunities because you know, you got to remember that that hope is there. You're not alone, so don't bounce. Don't have that fear of rejection and fear of commitment so high that you just bounce. You're hoping that you're gonna be on solid ground, that you're gonna be in a, a that you're gonna make money, that you're gonna be in stability, security in your job, in your income, your business, um, financial life, and definitely in your love life. And so don't bounce. You know, don't be defensive with them because they they need to be they you need to let them in. Learn to check in with source from time to time all right remember stay connected so that you don't emotionally explode on these triggers that's gonna happen and just know that follow your intuition balance out that energy and don't escape you know understand if they don't understand you then take some time out and learn each other but them messages, whoo, that's good stuff. They are really good. Inbox, inbox, inbox. Be okay with the, the, the flirtatious energy. You know, anchor yourself. Know that this person is, is not all of the people in the past. And you do deserve so much more. You deserve the vision that you keep showing yourself. And you feel like, oh, well, my dream, um, my dream woman, my dream man, they don't exist. They absolutely do, and they have been trying to get with you and trying to really solidify this connection, so stop lying to yourself and uh, putting that negative energy out there. Do I need to show you that again? It's time to release all that negativity and change your narrative, right? It's, it's going to be a little bit of a, a rocky start, I feel, for some of you, but you're hoping for the best. You're going to get the best. It's calmer seas. It's a easier transition than you thought. And I feel like you got so many options. There's so many hobbies that you wanted to do. There's so many gifts that you have, so many talents. But I feel like you've tried businesses before. And now, the, and the timing wasn't right. Now the timing is right. You know, I feel like, you know, now it's like, okay, I love this. I love it. And definitely love it. So you can lower your defenses, lower your guard. As far as, uh, I feel like they had to make some changes. The company, the, uh, the product that you were trying to sell feel like you had to really see that you're a business owner, not just an entrepreneur. And I feel like maybe you tried a business um, and you just, you're going to a different company that really works for you. The other one, maybe it's a competitor and they, they didn't work for you, but this one does. And so you're starting to see, you know, well, okay, I don't have to 
um, put yesterday's baggage on this new one because this is a new company. This is new energy and I really am liking it. You know, it feels really good. I'm receiving, I'm communicating. These people are really supportive. I feel appreciated, valued. I feel like they appreciate and respect my intellectual prowess and I'm good. As far as your love life, I feel Scorpio, honey, you own it. So it's what you desire. That's what you're manifesting here. You definitely are manifesting the one you want. And so make sure that when you're feeling that instability, when you're feeling that low vibration, that you check yourself and make sure that you are not allowing yourself to be around people that are just doubters, naysayers, ugh, and just heavy, thick, toxic energy because you really do own it. You really deserve this amazingly blessed um, energy that's going to be like, what? This is it. This is, I feel like that, you know, many of you are coming into just wealth and I feel like many of you are um, seeing your potential you know I feel like your awakening your spiritual awakening is certainly happening and you are tapped into your unlimited potential the unlimited possibilities in your love life in your in your career life and but but you have focused on one option and one person or one type of person, which is great. Listen to your intuition. Okay, let it guide you. Listen to what spirit has to say and go all in on manifesting it. Take it to the next level. Just go for it. Because all, all signs are green, all systems go. Just focus on expansion, focus on abundance, focus on wealth, focus on true love, focus on love to last a lifetime, focus on everything that you want, but just expand that vision. Oh, this is awesome. It's awesome. You are so blessed. You are manifesting some powerful things. Stay positive. Scorpio, if I can share with you how we have been blessed in every single area of our lives, I can share with you this one beautiful thing that has truly blessed my family and I, I absolutely would love to have a short conversation with you. Just click the links down below. And if there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here.